Hey there everyone, this is Jeff Perkins with JD Cutlery putting together another video on some of the new knives that are coming out from Zero Tolerance. This is the ZT0022. Um, it is designed by Tim Galian, G-A-L-Y-E-A-N. Um, so another new uh, choice out there from Zero Tolerance. This is uh, the only actual new design for Zero Tolerance for the year. Uh, the other three models for the most part that they've done is uh, they redid the 393 with a different blade and just the gray titanium as well as a glow-in-the-dark carbon fiber insert on top. Um, they've also gone with the 460 in titanium and the 562 in full titanium. So they've kind of revamped a number of their models, uh, but this is the only actual new model for the year. And this one is a little tiny one. So uh, overall length on this one uh, is 4.75 inches. The blade length is a whopping 1.8 inches. Uh, blade thickness is 0 0.121. And uh, your weight on this one is a light 1.7 ounces. Um, so of course it is a flipper type knife. Uh, pocket clip is reversible, left or right hand, tip up carry. Uh, all of your hardware as far as the screws, pivot, and pocket clip are steel, but you do have a titanium uh, pivot cup as well as the backspacer is a titanium uh, offset. So there's a little bit uh, that we can do, a little extra we can do with the anodizing on these. Um, one thing I will say right off the bat it's a very small knife so I've got a fairly large hand when you're looking at 1.8 inches you need to be careful flipping this knife you can flip it out here finger on the pocket clip well usually you can flip it out there finger on the pop pocket clip no problem but if you get into tucking it in here on your your palm you have to be careful. The tip of that blade, if it's pushing in on the palm, can catch your hand. Gee, you see where it caught my hand? <laughs> so, just be careful. Um, if you grab it like this, you're just fine. Utilizing that pocket clip, keeping your uh, palm out of the way, not a problem. But uh, just my one tip on this one, probably my one concern, I do have a large hand, so I'm much more likely to carry a bigger knife, uh, but this one will work really good for people with smaller hands, or if you get used to flipping it, just as a general term. I had them a whopping one night, I was working on them, put them back together, and caught myself with the tip of that. And the tip of that little sucker is crazy sharp. So. They really do put a fine tip on it. So, very nice edge, very sharp. Overall, happy with the knife. You could definitely get in and do some serious work with these little guys. So, it definitely has its place. It's a knife that uh, you could definitely use to get in on little stuff. Does give, give you two good fingers to hold it, as well as the little bit of jimping up here and you can really get in and maneuver it. So it definitely has a place, especially if you're looking for something small just to throw in your pocket. Uh, a, a definite viable option. Let's go ahead and hit these one at a time. Get the extras out of the way and you can see what we've done. Okay. So this one, we went with a very light blue to gray and faded into gold. We did gold on the uh, pivot uh, cup as well as gold down on the backspacer. So 
cool looking little guy. I kind of like that that uh, gold to silver fade. Nice lock up on all of these. Um, centering is pretty good on almost all of them as well. A couple of them are a little bit off. So sometimes you just got to get used to flipping these. When you hold it firm and you get your finger on that pocket clip, they go no problem. I'm a little gun shy because I caught my finger, or well, caught my, caught my hand. So these are 20 CV as far as the blade. And it actually doesn't list who the designer is on the knife, which is one of the first times I've seen that happen. Um, carbon fiber definitely looks nice. Good solid screws, and there's your other screws for the pocket clip if you're a lefty. So there is the blue and gold. Went with a nice uh, green with bronze drizzle to kind of give you that uh, almost camouflage look. Give you an idea what that looks like with some fingerprints. The bronze fingerprints, the green doesn't really fingerprint, so it just dulls the browns out a little bit. And we went with bronze on the backspacer and the pivot cup again. Centered up pretty good. And again, they do fire real nice once you get used to holding them and flipping them. So, cool little one. I definitely like that green and bronze for the camouflage look. Did a bunch of different little fades. This one is a green to teal to a bluish purple. A lot of these do have some oil on the pivot. I threw them all back together and you got a little bit of oil kind of leaking out. But uh, nothing wrong with the anodizing, it's just that little bit of lubrication that I threw in there. We use the 10 weight nano oil, um, so it does tend to leak out a little bit here and there. So, pivot cup again. And this one we matched the green back here, and then we did the pivot cup that uh, purple blue. So, lock up on that one, nice and early. And, uh, Let's see. Again, flips right out. So, cool looking one in those colors. Did a couple double fades. Got a nice purple with high voltage blue on both ends. I do like the way those look. It uh, turned out pretty sharp. Purple on the back spacer and purple on the pocket or the, uh, the pivot uh, cup. Centered up pretty nice and lock up nice and early again a little bit of oil in there but definitely nothing wrong with that one good looking little knife kind of playing with the light a little bit trying to figure out what what the best is let's go ahead and drop that a little bit still getting a little little extra shine there let's see which one to go with next we'll go with this one So this one is kind of a teal with a nice purple. Definitely a nice fade there. Purple on that uh, pivot cup as well as purple in the back spacer. Again, nice early lockup. Centering's good. Just going to kind of fly through these. They're all uh, pretty cool looking. Definitely happy. These anodize nice and easy. So I was very happy with uh, running through these. I hit all 10 of these last night. There is a purple with a high voltage blue double fade. Purple on the uh, pivot cup. Purple on the back spacer. So definitely cool looking little knife. Nice early lockup. Flips out pretty nicely. Here's another one of the light blue to a darker blue. I kind of like that fade too. Just a nice even fade, looking good. Pocket, or the pivot cup again. And then went darker to match the blue on the outside here. Lockup seems to be about the same on all of these. So, 
definitely very consistent as far as that goes. And I do like that uh, carbon fiber. There's that one. Another double fade. We went with green and some blue. So you got a nice green, blue, green going with uh, the bluish green on the cup. And the same with the backspacer. Lock up again nice and early. Center is pretty darn good. And they do tend to pop out pretty nicely. So, definitely cool looking little knives. Went with a bronze to dark blue on this one. Again, got some oil. I'm going to fingerprint that up so you really... It darkens up when you do these lower voltages. So that's what she looks like darkened up with your fingerprints. The browns going into the dark blue. Did the browns on the cup and browns there as well. Nice centering. And again, they do pop right open. Once you get used to them, they definitely open pretty nicely. So just be careful when you're getting used to them. There's a nice green. Again, a little bit of oil up there, but uh, green turned out real nice. Happy with that, nice and even. Green in the offset and the pivot. Nicely centered again. I really do like that they did the extra hint of titanium here and here. As much as I always wanted Zero Tolerance to go with titanium pocket clips, the ones that we've had so far tend to scratch really easy. So I'm almost happier with that steel pocket clip with the DLC coating. So I always wanted them to go that route, but some of these littler ones, if I buff them out, they uh, definitely can show scratches pretty quick and easy. So there is the solid green. And we will end up with a purple-blue. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. Come on, focus in. Purple-blue with a bronze stone wash. Color is kind of washed out in the camera here. The lighting is just not quite what it needs to be uh, here. But uh, it is a nice purple-blue fade with the bronze to match the stone wash on the backspacer as well as the pivot. Got a nice early lock up and she flies right open. So definitely a neat little offering. Um, like I said I'm used to a big knife but these are cute little ones fun to play with. Once you get used to flipping them they flip. They do fly out nicely so no issues there at all. Um, I do have a number of the 460s done as well. Everything that I have done currently is posted on the site. I've got a number of 460s still to do with the titan with the full titanium, as well as some 450s that I got in and some 450 CFs. So just be on the lookout. I'm going to try and get a couple of videos up. I have a quite a few knives that I haven't done videos on, so. I'm going to go ahead and get those done over the next couple days, just so everybody has a good idea of what's out there and uh, what we have done. Thank you for tuning in. If you're interested in any of these, definitely check them out at www.jdcutlery.com, and we'll see you on the next one.